Invoices aren't just paperwork. They are an important part of your SaaS. But you do not need to reinvent the wheel anymore and you can just use AI for that. In this video, you will learn how you can use serverless inferencing for fetching data from your Stripe configuration and changing that into invoices. We will be using DigitalOcean's gradient platform along with existing recent and Stripe integration to build this. So let's get started. Here's how the invoicing system architecture works. We already have a Stripe integration that gets us the billing information. We take that information and send that to an AI layer, which is making use of DigitalOcean's serverless inferencing feature. And this converts the billing information into invoices. Then it turns them into PDF using Puppeter. And finally, it makes use of Recent's email integration to send the invoices as emails. So the first step is to get the serverless endpoint keys, log into your DigitalOcean account, and from the control panel, click on agent platform from the left sidebar, and then click on serverless inference. From here, you'll get the option to create model access key, give it a name, maybe inf test. You'll also see all the models that are available for use, click on save. And this is the key that you get, make sure to copy and paste and add it to your .env file. After we have added the inference API key, the next step is to invoke the serverless inference endpoint and then by prompt, ask the AI layer to create an invoice for us to fetch the details, use the Llama model and then convert it into invoice, which is in HTML format. So this is the first part of where we are converting the billing information into HTML invoice. The next step is basically to get the billing information from Stripe and to send the email via our existing recent configuration. So to do a quick check, we'll go to this import right here and then we'll click on go to source definition. You'll see that the email provider here is recent. Then let's go back to our existing file and then scroll a bit Below, you'll see that it checks if it has a current subscription or not. And then it also checks what is the subscription type, if it's a free type or if it's a pro type. So this is getting all the information from Stripe. And then it is finally sending the invoice using the recent configuration using these lines. The final step is to convert the invoice that we are receiving from the AI service in HTML format to a PDF format so that it is easier to send as attachment on emails. For that, we are using the Puppeter service. So here's the code for it. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll see that we have done some CSS styling to make sure that it goes well with our branding. This is where you can play around and also change the branding according to your custom branding or to your company branding. And that's how you can expand the C-Stack Starter Kit to build AI-enabled features. To learn more about it, check out this video by Amit. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Here's another video on MCP that you should check out. And for more such videos, make sure to tap on the bell icon.